Hey guys, I'm Jake. Welcome to our channel. And Demi sitting right there recording me at this moment. So today we have this beautiful sunshine happening in Toronto and we have come out chilling here. And I have some good news for all of you who are waiting, eagerly awaiting to come to Canada. Okay, uh, first I will tell you the new announcement and the new draws which have come out. Uh, especially the PNP program which I have been telling again and again everyone to focus on and the good news is the, the two uh, PNP program the Manitoba PNP and the Prince Edward Island PNP they have started inviting overseas candidate I mean so far only uh, Canadian experience class candidates were getting the invites to apply but now even the overseas have started. Let me bring my paper out and I'll tell you the exact detail. So on the 21st of May 2020 draw, province of Manitoba has uh, issued invitation to apply to 99 uh, candidates. The ITAs were issued to uh, skilled workers in Manitoba, skilled worker overseas. That's what matters to you, right? Overseas candidates are now getting the invitations to apply and international education stream. Uh, yes, uh, out of all the uh, LAA or the letters of advice to apply or what we also call the invitations to apply. In case of Manitoba, around 15 LAA were issued to overseas candidates. So all the candidates with active uh, profile in express entry were the ones uh, to get the invites. Now let me tell you about the Prince Edward Island's uh, PNP draw. Prince Edward Island uh, PNP draw gave invitation to apply on uh, May 15 to 14 candidates. In case of uh, Prince Edward Island PNP, the express entry candidates need to create their expression of interest uh, profile. So remember that point. So all in all guys, I was trying to tell you that now the overseas candidates are also getting invitations to apply. In addition to this, I have two more good news. Uh, I saw it in the news, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he said it that immigration is extremely important for Canada and they cannot stop immigration even during this lockdown period. Furthermore, the Immigration Minister Marco Medicino once again emphasized the importance of immigration when he said in an interview that during the revision of uh, immigration quota later in the year, there will be no changes in the number of uh, candidates who need to uh, come to Canada. So the number of quota for this year is going to remain the same. So please be don't don't be worried because lot a lot of people have been speculating that now because of this lockdown the number of immigration will reduce. So the good news is it will not reduce. Just relax and enjoy your life. Your chance is right there around the corner. Be patient. Should we go for a walk now? Yeah, let's go for a walk now. All right, guys, so that's the update I had for you. I'm going to resume my walk with Demi now in the beautiful weather. See you guys soon. Bye.